It only takes a moment. Would you know what to do when disaster strikes, whether an earthquake, a fire, or an act of violence? It pays to be prepared. Hi, I'm Mike Tuatasi, Vice President of Student Affairs. Here at Santa Monica College, the safety of our students, faculty, and staff is extremely important, and we know that it takes practice, preparation, and your cooperation. With this video, we want to help you to know what to do when an emergency happens, so you can stay safe and help others on campus. Let's start with the alert system. We try to keep you notified by phone, text, and email. This could happen during class, when you're on the main campus, or when you're on any of our satellite campuses. During an emergency, you may be asked to do one of four things. Evacuate, lock down, shelter in place, or drop, cover, and hold. If possible, you will continue to get instructions until the all clear. If you are inside a building and ordered to evacuate, please leave quickly and carefully. Gather your belongings and walk to the closest exit. Take the stairs, do not use the elevators. Above all, keep calm. In a lockdown, make sure that everyone knows what's going on. Close the blinds, lock the doors, and take cover in a safe area. Stay out of sight. Put cell phones on vibrate. Make sure your speaker volume is down. Stay quiet and stay put until you get the all clear. If you are in a classroom, you can secure the door using an electrical cord or backpack. Wrap one end around the door handle and put all of your weight on the other end. Stay out of sight. If there are chemicals or other biological agents in the air, you may be asked to shelter in place. If you are inside, seal off openings to the room, but if you still smell fumes, cover your nose and mouth with clothing. If you are outside, seek shelter in the nearest building immediately. In a natural disaster like an earthquake, we all know there's no warning. You've got to drop, cover, and hold. The drop, get under a table or another sturdy piece of furniture. The cover, Stay away from windows and heavy objects that might fall. Protect your head. The hold, stay put until the shaking stops. Santa Monica College has a diverse community of students, faculty, and staff, including those with disabilities. If someone has mobility issues, ask if you can assist them. This also holds true for people with vision impairments. Ask them if they want to hold your arm and help them avoid debris. If someone is deaf or hard of hearing, get their attention by eye contact, waving, or gently touching their shoulder or arm. Use gestures, pointing, or a brief written note to let them know what's happening. If a person with a disability isn't able to evacuate, escort them safely to the closest designated area of rescue. These are usually at the top of enclosed stairways. Then, evacuate the building yourself and report the location of the person as soon as you can to emergency responders. To find out more about how you can help a person with a disability, please visit our website at www.smc.edu forward slash emergency. Throughout the year, SMC takes steps to keep you safe when an emergency arises. Our Emergency Preparedness Committee is responsible for the Emergency Operations Plan and the drills that get us ready. Our Crisis Intervention Team provides mental health support and identifies and responds to behaviors that may pose a danger. Our CERT volunteers are staff, students, and faculty who are trained in light search and rescue and can help with basic emergency care and our building monitors are designated staff members who are there to guide us during an actual emergency. So, that's some of what SMC is doing to plan for future emergencies. Now here's what you can do to help us succeed. Use the resources already posted. There are brightly colored posters scattered throughout the campus reminding you what to do during a disaster. Everyone should read them before a crisis hits. 
Emergency folders are available upon request from the SMC Police front office. These tell you what to do in case of a fire, medical emergency, power outage, or other unexpected event. The SMC website is also a great resource for this info. Considering recent acts of violence at colleges around the country, we need to know what to do if there's a shooting or even just the threat of one. There are three things to remember, run, hide, or fight, and our active shooter video can provide more insight on how to prepare for this situation. Additionally, SMC Campus Police is here 24-7 to respond, and they would be happy to talk to you about any concerns. And if you ever have an emergency on campus, please program the police dispatch phone number into your cell phone, 310-434-4300 or call extension 4300 from any campus phone. You will be connected with the SMC police. We are a place of learning and it's important that we all learn what to do in time of crisis. Resources are available at www.smc dot edu forward slash emergency. At Santa Monica College, we are all responsible for keeping our campus safe.